Hey guys, welcome back to Bean Energy. Today, I wanted to show you my bench power supply for charging my batteries. I should probably get a real one. It's got all the outputs and the knobs and it's fancy and everything. But I wanted a charger for my batteries and I wanted something that could charge different voltages um, at different rates. So what I found was this guy, which is a constant current, constant voltage booster that can do, what, 60 amps is what it's supposed to be able to do. Um, now, of course, it's an Amazon Chinese unit, so you never really know until you get it in. But it has adjustments for how much current and how much voltage. So before you even connect it up to your battery, you can determine what the max voltage is going to be. And then you can also, once you're connected, change the current to whatever current you want to be charging the battery at. When you go start looking for chargers for your e-bike or, or what have you, like they're really expensive. Um, I bought one and it was like 20 or 30 bucks and it charges at like one amp on my uh, 13S battery. I think that took, you know, eight hours to charge my eight amp hour battery. Whereas this here is a 1200 watt HP power supply, which can be had on eBay or whatnot for probably what 40 bucks or so this is uh if anyone was into uh bitcoin mining this is a little board that was used for powering video cards and they've got other boards i just happen to have this one laying around but all it really does is plug into the back of this power supply and give you 12 volts and a button and a little readout anyway and then i soldered on some wires here which could be a little bit thicker for what I'm doing with it, that give me 12 volts, 12 and a half volts into this charge controller. And then out of that, I can plug in my battery. So what I end up with is this, if I turn this on. So I've got 12.3 volts showing up here. I have 51.8 volts showing here. Now that's because it's being brought down to the voltage of the battery. If I unplug this battery, and we check the voltage here. So you can see I've got this one set at about 54.6 volts, which is 13S lithium ion. The other thing we can measure is how much amperage this is pushing. Now this doesn't really have any readouts other than some LEDs. It'll tell you whether it's in constant current mode or constant voltage mode, or if it's hitting under voltage cutoff, which I'm not sure what that is. Um, so I'll just use my ammeter here to find out um, what we're doing for current. And you can see that we're at about 6.8 amps. And fortunately, that seems to be all it can push because I can come in here and adjust my current a little bit more and it doesn't get much higher than that. That's still a whole lot higher than anything else I've used especially for this price. So yeah, so 6.8 6 amps. I also measured it and it's running at about 85% efficient. So between, you know, going from the AC down to the 12 volts and then from the 12 volts jumping up to the 51, 52 volts. 85% um, is actually pretty good there if you're talking about that much. So I'm measuring at the, um, at the outlet on the AC and I'm getting like almost 500 watts. Um, and then here I'm getting six and a half amps at 50 volts, and that comes out to about 85%. So anyway, if you're looking for something that's you know under 100 bucks that you can adjust to your different battery pack voltages, that is cool to use. It'd be nice if it was in a nice little case and whatnot, but it is what it is. They have random Chinese warnings saying stuff like if you use it at full capacity, add a different cooling fan. So obviously it's going to run hot as you start pushing more into it and it's, it's running pretty warm right now. But the beautiful thing is if I want to turn this down and just do a trickle charge, I can do that because I can adjust my current. So all I gotta do is screw this in until I get down to the rate that I am interested in. So we're at 2.8 amps, and I'm going to screw this counterclockwise 
I'm going to get down to something like maybe half an amp. Could I even do like a quarter amp? Let's do a half amp. Yeah, it should be about 20, 25 watts. So use case for me right now is that I just built a battery and it's pretty far out of balance. And I would like to be able to charge it nice and slow, allowing the BMS to easier balance out the cells. If you charge it fast, then the rate of balancing is mismatched to the rate of charge and it doesn't get it very balanced. So what I'm gonna do is connect this up to my brand new battery here and I will set it to the 4.2 volts per cell and half an amp. Turn the BMS on and let it charge and see if I can get some more balancing out of my battery. That's it for this on Bean Energy. I'll see y'all next time.